So I did want to welcome everyone to what will hopefully be a mini series of medically related topics and open discussion. Um, I wanted to thank you for making the time to attend our presentation and whatever your thoughts may be regarding this current public health situation, uh, I imagine that you're here today to add to your perspective. And I think that we already have some common ground in search of more objectivity and better understanding of each other from whatever your preconceptions might be at the moment. So I think even if we are on, we, have, we may have differing views or we may have differing um, ideas of how things have been or how things are being handled, but the fact that you're all here today, I think that gives us some common ground already. Uh, there's some housekeeping items that um, I just wanted to mention here and I'll put through the slideshow. The first thing is um, we did mention was the audio uh, muting. Now we do like some interactivity and there will be a uh, Q&A after the presentations. If there's any burning questions, put them through the chat box. Um, if the question, if you'd like to add on to the question that we've read from you, in which I will do, um, and you think that there's um, some feedback you'd want to give, or if we misunderstood the question or something like that, or you want to have an add on, then we will indicate to you to unmute yourself. And if you want it to appear on the, um, uh, in the conference, then that will be, that will be uh, welcomed. Uh, I do, I think everyone's aware that this is being recorded. And um, so that comes with a few, a few, uh, uh, there's a few caveats there. And just in case there's anything that you didn't want, so nothing prior to this will be included, obviously. But if you didn't want something like your, your video image or your voice, if you want that to be removed from the recording, then please um, email the admin afterwards, all right? Um, now, we, as I said, we do value feedback and uh, things that we can improve on. And uh, so feel free to email our admins afterwards to forward any sort of uh, thoughts or feedback or that, that you have um, that uh, hopefully we'll be able to address in future and also improve our processes. Now, some disclaimers. This is not medical advice. Now, a few things. It, it came to our attention really that the advertisement for this program, it made it appear that we would address a lot of topics, but that's because that's the intention to have some of our speakers who would like to talk on this. And if we can schedule them in the near future, that would be great, but it's obviously too many things to cover in one or two hours. So the purpose of today is basically as an introduction to the mini series and we'll take a moment to say what, what it is that we'd like to achieve by doing this. But um, the other disclaimer here, of course, is that it's not medical advice. And there's a reason why you're often asked to talk to your local doctor about these types of issues. And it's actually really crucial. It's not just a matter of saying, okay, I'm doing that for legal purposes and, and it's a bit tokenistic. That's not really the point. The point is, is that you and your primary physician or your specialist, whoever they may be, and, and whatever they may be dealing with, is that they know your individual risk profile. They know your conditions, your predispositions, and they know your values. And you do know that better than anyone else as well. So general concepts, like the ones that we're discussing here, are interesting to discuss, but they only have a partial overlap with individual need. I think that's a very important theme when, when as we go through all of these things, is that something that can be that something that can be generalizable may only apply to some people in the population. So, to, so we, we'll, we'll withhold that thought for a bit and move on. Um, now, the, I'd like to introduce our speakers today and um, uh, first up, so we have two of my esteemed colleagues. Uh, Dr. David Richards will be doing 
the bulk of the presentation regarding some discussion on data and some and, and interpretation of the statistics that we have over the last year. Now, Dr. Richards is originally from Wales and he went to medical school in London. He has an honors degree in immunology and genetics. Um, I think I actually have a screen here. Uh, and you can see his, his areas of expertise and how, how he's a reviewer for um, the European Journal of Clinical Investigation and, and a bioinformatics company. He is an author of two books, and this is academic work through Bonn University. And that's the other disclaimer here is that obviously none of this, the what's been mentioned here, uh, the, the opinions are opinions of our own, the three practitioners here today, and not related to what their employers may, um, and it's not to be affiliated with their employers or, or whoever, whoever else they may, they may be affiliated with. Um, David does his clinical work in general practice and, um, uh, and in, in between juggling all of those um, projects that he has um, running at the same time. Uh, our other speaker who will come after me, Dr. Joe Kosterich, you may already know Dr. Joe from either from his media appearances or from his blog, which is a very informative source. And he's also an author and he has some very interesting books that have been, that he has uh, published. He is a, also works as general practitioner in, uh, in his clinical work and does his teaching through UWA and Curtin Medical School. Before we start, I just wanted to think a bit that for the past year, just to share with you all that many of our colleagues deliberated over many sessions really about our concerns regarding what's been the, the, not only what's been happening, but the level of discourse in medical circles as well in the general public. I think I don't need to be the person pointing out that the current situation is probably one of the most polarizing and divisive issues we'd ever had to navigate as a society, at least for the generations that we've had now. But I've heard from, from people much older than myself, and they would agree that this is probably more divisive than anything that they would have been through as well, which I'll take their word for it. So the, the question here comes is, how do we get people to talk about this in a way that it's a bit more objective, that, that how do we navigate this as a society? Basically, I think that's probably the root question here. How do we get people to be driven more by objectivity and less so by fear or by bias or by ideology or anything else that uh, I guess poisons the well? And the challenge of course being a group of practitioners who are talking about this topic today is how do we not poison that well even further? Now, I guess the question really is how is it possible to have open discussions on the issues that people are concerned about? And are there some things that we can actually fundamentally, dis fundamentally agree on? And if we put our preconceptions aside, we might learn that we value similar things and we can become less fixated with method and ideology. Um, before I get Joe to run through a few slides, I just want you to have a quick glimpse of this for, um, bit of subliminal messaging is that if you thought about a condition or a disease, you generally look at these parameters. These are not the only ones. These are some of the parameters. Um, just keep that at the back of your head as you listen to the, the presentation. And then we will, um, we might be able to revisit some of this uh, later on in the presentation. Uh, Dr. Joe, I think I'll hand over to you. Thank you. <laughs> 